India is now aiming to become a space superpower by announcing the plan to set up its own space station. In a press conference today, India's Space Research Organization chairman, K. Sivan, announced that India plans to set up a separate station in Pays. And the ambitious project is supposed to be an extension of the Gagan Yan mission. While the space agency did not divulge any further details of the project, ISRO chief Dr. Sivan said it would be conceptualized over the next five to seven years only after the Gaganyan mission. The Gaganyan mission of the year 2022, which will be India's first human mission to space, is supposed to be a smaller module which will be mainly used to carry out microgravity experiments. Now, the cost of the project has not been estimated yet. As a long-term plan, we are planning to have the space station by India, our own space station, then subsequently, not only the space station we are going to stop it, we are going to join the international community for going to moon, manned mission to moon, then the asteroid, and we wanted to create the colonies in the moon. So like we have a very, very clear plan how to go to the, uh, the airport the space, human uh, the space program. That's what Honorable Minister said. Earlier this week, Sivan announced that the space agency's most complex lunar mission, Chandrayaan-2, would be launched on the 15th of July. The Indian Space Agency also talked about its ambitious mission to the sun, named Aditya L1, stated for the year 2020. ISRO also announced its mission to Venus, which will be launched over the next four years. Time now to shift focus away from India and take a quick look at uh, some of the other top stories making headlines across the world. South Korea's President Moon Jae-in has said that it would be desirable if he meets North Korean leader Kim Jong-un prior to Trump's visit to Seoul. Moon Jae-in said that now it is up to North Korean leader to decide. North Korea has significantly reduced its dialogue and engagement with South Korea since February. Negotiations between the U.S. and North Korea have also been at a standstill. Kim had earlier declared that the Trump administration has time till the end of this year to offer a mutually acceptable deal. Security forces in Ghana have rescued two Canadian women. They were kidnapped last week from outside their hostel in Kumasi. During the rescue operation, shots were fired and one suspect sustained minor injuries. According to Ghana's Minister of Information, five Ghanaian residents and three Nigerians were taken into custody. The minister also confirmed that the women had been flown to the capital, Accra, where they've been in touch with Canadian authorities. Sweden's environmental agency has launched a platform which allows citizens to monitor the country's progress on net zero emissions. The nation has set a goal to become emission free by the year 2045. The platform named Panorama. The creator of Panorama says that the software gives a shared picture. The software provides full transparency that prevents the government agencies from harming. Police have made headway in the case of attempted murder on baseball sensation David Ortiz. A total of six men have been arrested, including the shooter, in what is now being understood to be an $8,000 bounty case. Ortiz, who is a national hero in the Dominican Republic, has undergone a second round of surgery and is recovering well.